Hi guys, today we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of two budget-friendly soundbars from Hisense, the HS2100 and the HS218. If you're on the market for an affordable sound upgrade for your TV or entertainment system, you're in the right place. Remember, you can check out the links to these soundbars and their latest prices in the description below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your thoughts. Let's kick things off with design and build quality. The Hisense HS2100 sports a simple, discreet look. It has a plastic top with a texture that resembles faux leather, giving it a subtle aesthetic touch. The subwoofer is slim and compact, featuring a square fabric panel on the side. Despite its small size at 6.5 inches, it's designed to fit seamlessly into most living room setups. On the other hand, the HS218 also boasts a sleek all-black design with a metal grille protecting the front-facing drivers. It's not too tall, wide, or long, so it should slide comfortably under most TVs without obstructing your view. The subwoofer is wireless and relatively compact, which helps declutter your space by eliminating extra cables. Now let's talk about what really matters, the sound performance. The HS2100 offers a total output of 240 watts, with 120 watts from the soundbar and another 120 watts from the subwoofer. The setup provides plenty of volume to fill up most living rooms. The overall sound profile is warm, and the bass has a nice kick to it. However, if you're after that deep, rumbling sub-bass, you might find it slightly lacking in the lower-end frequencies. Still, the sound is impressive and boomy for its price point. Meanwhile, the HS218 is a 2.1-channel soundbar with a total power of 200 watts. It features two forward-facing full-range drivers and two tweeters, plus the wireless subwoofer. The mid-bass is tight and controlled, delivering plenty of quality and quantity. However, the sub-bass tones might not be as extended, so it won't shake the room like some higher-end systems. The overall sound is engaging, especially when using the surround EQ mode. Both soundbars come with some handy sound enhancement features. The HS2100 allows you to adjust the bass and treble levels directly, and it offers EQ presets like music, movie, news, and night mode that reduces bass and overall volume, perfect for late night viewing without waking the household. It also supports Dolby Digital and DTS content via HDMI ARC, but keep in mind it downmixes surround sound to stereo. The HS218 also provides EQ presets and bass and treble adjustments. It has a surround mode that aims to widen the soundstage, making your listening experience more immersive. However, it's worth noting that enabling surround mode overrides other EQ settings, so you can't customize bass and treble when it's active. This might be a slight oversight, especially if you want to tweak the sound further. When it comes to connectivity, both soundbars have you covered. The HS2100 features HDMI ARC optical input and even a coaxial input for older TVs. It also supports Bluetooth, so you can stream music wirelessly from your devices. However, it lacks a full HDMI in port, so you can't use it as a hub between multiple devices. The HS218 offers HDMI ARC, optical, USB, and coaxial inputs as well. Like the HS2100, it supports Bluetooth with the basic SBC codec. The subwoofer connects wirelessly, which helps keep your living room tidy by reducing cable clutter. Using these soundbars is pretty straightforward. The HS2100 has simple controls on the top and comes with a remote that lets you access all its features. There's also an LED indicator to show you the current input source or its settings. If you own a Hisense TV, you might be able to adjust the soundbar settings through your TV's audio output settings, which is a nice bonus. 
The HS218 places its physical buttons on the right-hand side, which is a bit unconventional, but still accessible. The included remote is well laid out and gives you comprehensive control over the soundbar's functions. Now let's talk about value for money. The HS2100 is incredibly affordable, especially considering it includes a wireless subwoofer. It's hard to find a decent soundbar with a sub at this price point. It delivers respectable audio performance that's more than sufficient for the average home. The HS218 is slightly more expensive, but still sits comfortably in the budget category. For the extra cost, you get a well-rounded soundbar with good mid-bass performance and an engaging surround mode. It stands out among competitors, especially with its wireless subwoofer included at this price. So, which one should you choose? If you're looking for the absolute best value and don't mind tweaking settings to get the vocals and high frequencies just right, the HS2100 is a fantastic option. It's affordable, comes with a punchy subwoofer, and offers onboard bass and treble adjustments. Just be aware that the surround sound experience is limited, and you might need to fine-tune the settings for optimal clarity. On the other hand, if you prefer a more engaging sound out of the box and can tolerate a bit of sibilance in the heights, the HS218 might be the better choice. Its surround mode provides a more immersive experience, and it's a competent all-rounder in terms of audio performance. However, some users might find the high frequencies a bit harsh during extended listening sessions. At the end of the day, both soundbars offer incredible value for their price points. Your choice will depend on your specific needs and preferences. Thanks for sticking around! Don't forget to check the links in the description for the latest prices and more information on these soundbars. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments which soundbar you prefer, or if you have any questions. And be sure to check out the video suggestions popping up on your screen right now. Until next time, happy listening.